Zoll Medical Corporation has for years offered the automated external defibrillator that provides the best support to rescuers of cardiac arrest victims, the AED+. Until now, this has always been a semi-automatic defibrillator, an AED that analyzes the heart, tells the user whether a shock is advised, and then waits for the user to deliver the shock by pushing a button. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Now Zoll offers a fully automatic AED Plus that delivers the shock automatically, with no need for the rescuer to push the shock button if and when the heart analysis detects a shockable heart rhythm. Don't touch patient. Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. Start CPR. This AED Plus looks much like the semi-automatic model that Zoll has been selling for years, and that's because it, too, provides the best support for rescuers of cardiac arrest victims. Push harder. It provides real CPR help. Good compression. It has the lowest total cost of ownership once it's been installed because pads and batteries last five years. It has an ingress protection rating of IP55 for protection against dust and water. And it's powered by 10 lithium-123A batteries, readily available at most retail outlets where cameras are sold. It uses the same CPRD pads for fast and accurate electrode placement. And these pads are equipped with the same package of rescue accessories. The lid's also the same and can be used for passive airway support. The same graphic icons recall the rescuer's training and show them what to do, along with the same display screen and voice prompts. Push harder. The difference becomes obvious immediately after you turn it on. Automatic defibrillator. Unit OK. Adult pads. Some of the labeling on the fully automatic AD Plus also differs from the standard semi-automatic model. Immediately above the on-off button, there is a label to indicate that this is a fully automatic AED. Unlike the faceplate of the standard semi-automatic model, which has the image of a hand over the shock button, the fully automatic AED Plus has no such image of a hand, though it does have a lighted circle, which indicates when the shock is delivered. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Now let's observe a simulated rescue using the fully automatic AED+. Automatic defibrillator. Unit OK. Adult pads. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Are you OK? Are you OK? Rick, call 911. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Stay clear. Don't touch patient. Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Observe next that when no shock is advised, the fully automatic AED Plus does exactly what the standard semi-automatic model would do. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Stay clear. Touch patient. Analyzing. No shock advised. Start CPR. Because the fully automatic AED Plus is also equipped with real CPR help, push harder. It provides the same best support for rescuers provided by the standard semi automatic model. Good compression. So now that you've seen the fully automatic AED Plus in action, you may wonder which model, the semi-automatic or the fully automatic, is the best. That is completely a matter of preference. Studies have found that fully automatic and semi-automatic AEDs are equally safe. One European study found that some rescuers make fewer errors in simulations using a fully automatic AED. No matter which you decide meets your needs, you can rest assured that both provide the best support in a rescue 
and deliver the clinical efficacy and superior technology expected of a Zoll defibrillator.